electric cars are, are great. I, uh, uh, I have been involved a little bit uh, with electric cars. I served as a consultant to Tesla Motors for a grand total of one day about ten years ago. Um, they make use of electricity that we can generate using either renewable sources or nuclear sources. Um, and so they relieve the, the need for fossil fuels. The one uh, problem that uh, you have with, with electric cars, pure electric cars, is uh, what's euphemistically called range anxiety among customers. Uh, the fear that you might not have enough charge to get home. Um, and you add that to the fact that it takes a while to charge a car if you, even if you find a charging station where, when you are far from home, uh, you have to sit around and wait for hours uh, in order to charge the car. And so I can see there would be a purpose to having um, a hybrid electric car uh, that would permit you to use the car as an all-electric vehicle for routine work, routine commuting, for example. Uh, but that if you had to drive to grandma's house uh, that is several hundred miles away, you can crank the engine and off you go. And refueling using gasoline is known to be a very convenient sort of thing. There's no particular technical reason why a hybrid car has advantages over an all-electric. Uh, it's I've just expressed the, the commercial, what I believe to be a commercial reason. We're seeing, in, in the electric motor industry, we are seeing uh, a number of imperatives that are leading in different directions. Um, I'll give you an example. Here at MIT, uh, in the, um, actually it's in the, the Center for Arts and Media Technology, uh, we have people making prosthetic devices that use electric motors. I just finished uh, reading a thesis of a it was, it was a master's thesis of a student over there who was designing a, a variable reluctance motor to go in a prosthetic foot. That's an example of uh, what I think we would have to regard as being an entirely new field that will be using electric motors. Uh, we have, uh, in my laboratory, uh, we've been doing some work with uh, a small company here in Cambridge that makes bicycle assist wheels. That is a wheel that stores some energy uh, that can react to pedaling forces on a, on a bicycle and help it climb hills. Uh, the idea there is to make bicycle commuting more convenient. That's another area where we really haven't seen very many of, of, of these applications. In the automotive industry, um, oh, I've forgotten what the number is, but the average automobile has dozens of motors in it now. For operating everything from the door locks to the cranking the, 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 uh, the boot lid down gradually and, and nicely, rolling the windows, running the wiper blades, running the air conditioner, many other things in, a, in an automobile. And, and that's not to mention the, the, the seat positioner. Um, so you're, you're seeing a lot more motors being made for a lot more purposes. And um, the robotics business is going to be, is starting to grow and use a lot of motors. I'm working right now with a fellow who is uh, making robots for medical assist purposes. And he needs motors that have certain characteristics that we, we can help with.